My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm sitting on board a absolutely gorgeous Alden 45. This boat has been lovingly maintained by owners have, who have kept this boat for the last 21 years, kept her stored indoors at Lima and Morse, and her condition clearly shows a very knowledgeable owner that really knows how to take care of this beautiful boat. So please take a look at this video. If you have any questions for me regarding this Alden 45, please feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video. So we'll start our tour with a little circumnavigation of the hull. Uh, black hull, double white bootstripe, gold cross stripe, in excellent condition. She just glistens on her mooring here. Cove stripe is in great shape. Beautiful. Just hopped on board the boat after taking a little tour around uh, around the hull. W easy boarding from a tender with this swim platform that drops down and this nice solid boarding gate. Um, and what's nice about the 45 Alden is that they've added uh, that extra footage is primarily uh, for that old beautiful overhang that you see and on the transom and that also gives you some extra storage back in this area um, and it really completes the whole cockpit arrangement in my mind um, looking forward at the cockpit you'll immediately see how there's this custom uh, bimini shade which is great when you're spending long time uh, out on the helm here um, it's nice and substantially built and it looks to me roughly like there's three panels which are each I believe 120 watts each so that's a lot of solar generation uh, right there um, but looking at the ergonomics of this cockpit not only is the 45 Alden beautiful to look at on the outside but when standing in the boat the ergonomics of this cockpit is in my mind second to none um, and as the helmsman I'll stand up here by the helm here you first off I'm six foot tall so you can easily see over the dodger right at the bow there's no blind spots when standing um, at the helm here. I'm just off on the port side. Uh, there's a great custom-made teak arch here where um, if you were a little shorter, you could stand up on here, which when I'm standing up straight tall, my head does hit it at uh, just over six foot. Um, so that's not necessary for me, but um, for someone that's a little bit shorter, that step might be a really nice thing to have. Um, but the height of this Dodger, I think, is ideal, um, as is the height of this Bimini top, because the higher you go, the more it takes away from the aesthetic. So I think they just got this perfect balance from functionality and aesthetics on that Bimini. Um, and this foot chalk is very convenient. I'm sitting on the starboard side, but you can see on the port side how there's that nice seat there for to, um, uh, to sit in. And when you're sitting here, you've got the wheel right here and you can rest your feet while heeling over um, with the hand on this leather wrapped wheel, which is beautifully maintained. And looking forward, you just can envision your sight lines um, and it is perfect. 
you've got your um, primary and secondary winches here. You have an electric halyard winch, which is great with the power controls right here, just where the arms reach. Um, so the way this is all laid out, I think is fabulous. They've updated the electronics as well. All modern equipment with BNG. This is autopilot here. You've got one repeater and then you've got three more repeaters um, right there mounted on the carbon fiber backing plate. Um, single lever uh, throttle controls with transmission and throttle, all very nice and easy. So um, this is just the full complete ideal cockpit setup. Um, and uh, getting around, you can see how it's a T-shaped cockpit. So you don't have to step up to step down. You can just swing your legs around the, uh, this, the wheel and it's easy to get forward. Um, <clears throat> these pockets for extra line and winch handles are always well received. Looks like there's a power outlet there, uh, right in this, this um, compartment there, potentially for a spotlight, not 100% sure, um, but uh, just lots of extra thought went into the design and layout of this. Um, you can even see you've got these anchor points to clip in when sailing offshore. This deck fitting is for this beautiful teak table to uh, be in the up position. So um, you've got it all going on here. And then one thing I love when you're on a cruising boat is storage, of course. So you have this lazarette here, um, which is just full of all this useful equipment. And you have storage compartment here, propane here, and then an additional storage area, thanks to that extra footage on the 45 aft. Um, <clears throat> teak decking throughout, which is in excellent shape. Um, real quick, looking at the Westerbeek engine, looks like there's about 65, uh, I'm sorry, 3,659 hours. Um, and the bright work as well is in beautiful condition. We're gonna come forward on the port side here. You'll notice how leather wrapped um, handle on the Dodger and another one right here, just to give you that sure uh, hold walking forward. The gel coat on here is in excellent shape as well. Um, these window ports have been replaced and aren't hazy. Uh, varnish is excellent. You can even see the dovetail extra details and the quality of the stainless work. It's just, it's just all here on the Alden. Um, apologize for any wind that you'll have in the, in the speaker here. <clears throat> uh, the teak decking is in great shape. I don't see any uh, buns that are missing. Um, so these folks have done a great job maintaining her. Uh, electric anchor windlass with fit controls here. Look how fastidious these folks are. It is in this anchor locker, very tidy, no mold or mildew. This is found all throughout the boat on how fastidious they've been maintaining this boat. Um, they've owned this boat for 21 years. They've absolutely loved her. Kept her indoors with Lyman Morris for that whole time. They are the second owners. First owners came out of the Chesapeake and they owned her for about five years. So, um, Lots of love and care have gone into this boat. This position for the life raft is ideal. And believe it or not, it's still in service. That never happens. Um, 
That's great. So, Dodger windows are in excellent shape. So, lots of pride of ownership with this particular boat for sure. And now let's go below. So walking down the companionway. You can immediately see the quality of craftsmanship with this cherry interior. And I'll go into more details on what exactly the quality uh, means and is on this particular boat. Um, but this particular layout is a two stateroom single head layout. Aft into port here is your quarter berth, which uh, this interior has a um, S bar diesel cabin heat, which is campfire warm heat in uh, all the cabins and salon. And you also have air conditioning as well. The systems on board this boat is fully complete uh, with water, 12 volt water makers, solar, um, refrigeration, heat, AC. So it is very complete for sure for maximum comfort on board. Uh, the layout of the galley, it has a J-shaped counter top, stainless steel sink, this refrigerator is great. It's the Grunner uh, system, cold plate system, which is uh, very rugged and you have dual access to the top of the refrigerator and in the front face of the refrigerator. Gimbaled Force 10 propane stove, fairly standard issue for most quality uh, cruising sailboats. And then here you have your ice box um, or freezer. So lots of refrigeration on board, all sorts of various types of storage as well here. And then behind all these cabinets, you've got storage throughout. Look at all that. Um, one thing I really like about this particular arrangement on um, on this Alden 45 is look at the access to this wet locker that you have right next to the companionway. You're not going down below with wet gear traveling very far at all. Um, this is a great resource uh, for storage of all that wet equipment when you're cruising. Um, you have storage underneath all these steps, which is great. Um, I also really like the size of this nav station. Um, you have a plenty of space to roll out a chart, get a broad view of what you're looking to do for the day or for your trip. Um, you have a newer B&G multifunction uh, display, radar, chart plotter, all of the good stuff. Um, I love that this boat has a bilge pump counter and you may notice the number which has had zero cycles, always a good sign. Um, you have a Fisher Panda generator on board with about 563 hours, it says right here. Um, AIS is also equipped on board this boat. This is for the engine driven compressor for your refrigeration. You have 110 and um, an engine driven compressor. This is for your propane stove, SBAR cabin heater, obviously, um, off, forward. This is for your water maker, your Spectra 12 volt water maker. Um, electrical panel. So this is your AC and DC side here. Um, so central command center on the boat is fully complete, well organized. You have this uh, stool that swivels out and um, it's a great spot to get prepared and organized uh, for the day. Forward on the salon. This ultra suede is in fabulous shape. 
as is all of the cabinetry. Take a quick minute to give you a good broad strokes view. And this is when speaking about the quality of craftsmanship, this is an example of that right here. Full, solid, teak and holly sole. You do not see this on boats anymore. Look at this, it's just beautiful. And it fits in well as you move her aft and then hardware clicks right in. Just so much extra work goes into a cabin sole like this. You do have great access to the engine. I'll get into that in more detail towards the end of the video. This table is also beautifully designed. She pushes forward when not in use, but there's a latch right here that you can open up to slide this table aft. And then you have these, these leaves that pop out as well. And it's such a beautiful table. So you can easily seat likely six people around for dining. And then when you're underway, it locks forward. And with storage as well. Just such an incredibly built boat. The details with these louvered, louvered doors take so much extra time and effort and skill to build, which you don't just see this anymore. Moving forward, naturally, you have your liquor locker in here. Look at how nicely all this glassware settles in the drawer. Hanging locker here. And off to starboard, you have your head as well. I should note that there's zero smell on this boat as either. Um, they clearly uh, do a great job removing any uh, mildew or any other odor that may be present on board an older boat. All you can smell is just the richness, richness of very high quality craftsmanship. So that is really nice to have as well. I'm just gonna open up here so you can see this vanity off to port in the master. You can see how they have these covers to help prevent UV coming into the cabin while not using the boat. These cherry battens moving forward just give the boat so much of a rich feel. It just feels so nice on board this boat and cozy. Spinning around, looking aft again, give you a quick view before I get into the engine space. <clears throat> engine has several access points to be able to get to everything on board the boat. I may need to put the camera down to access some of this. Here we go. This is for your uh, Grenert refrigeration system. Paint on the engine looks great. You can take another look at the other side. Heat exchanger has been serviced. Paint on the engine is in great shape. 
clearly has been well maintained. Look at the seals on the heat exchanger. Not one sign of any leakage. The hoses look great. Transmission. Everything looks really great in this engine. Clearly, like the rest of the boat, extremely well maintained. Thank you for watching this video on this Alden 45. If you have any questions for me about this boat, feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video.